sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, your comments, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now let's get in there like swimwear. I have to remind people I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, an English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, a wanna be me but try to be better than me, a hoodoo witch doctor. All floating through the comments. This hoodoo witch doctor wants to get your love back for thirty nine ninety nine. You just gotta sign your soul over to the devil. And uh if you wanna do that, go ahead. <laughs> whatever floats your boat but i suggest you don't take that route because if you have to resort to any type of spell work witchcraft who do bitchcraft who knew you possibly don't need that person that person isn't for you we got sacrifice on the table we got fire and desire some of you are aries leo sagittarius you could be gemini libra aquarius we got strong sagittarius in this reading some of you you are you are oracles okay or tarot readers or some of you may be having profound dreams okay some of you went through some sort of transformation in a dream, a dream state some of you have connections with the pharaohs the naturus this is about your destiny okay somebody feels like the finger of y'all is being pointed at them now with all that being said let's get in there like a swimwear if you feel like you are being stalked via youtube comments go ahead and exercise your free will and block it block that ass there is three little dots on the side of anyone's comment if you click on those three little dots it'll give you some uh suggestions okay if you want to report that person or possibly block them you click on their profile picture and uh, it'll take you to their page and you can block them okay report anything that you see that is degrades de degrading and uh atocious <laughs> atocious that's i'll be coming up with some new words okay uh you know Go ahead and block them, all right? I report them. We all have to do our part, all right? Especially if you see any, uh, was them only fans and all of that, report that stuff, okay? Those are scam artists. And most of the time when you click on that information, it will download all type of stuff onto your phone. And next thing you know, you won't have a phone or you have your files hacked or something like that okay i do have somebody pretending to be me on youtube if you happen to see my content outside of youtube on a website or anything like that know that that is a hijacker that's a scam artist and possibly somebody that is trying to mimic me all right i will not reach out to anyone for my services you have to reach out to me via email and that will be in the description box below okay You've been warned, all right? We got a lot of shysters out here. We're talking about somebody taking the lead, all right? With the ninth house being here, this could speak about travel, okay? This is also talking about higher education. Some of you could be going back to school. Some of you may be healers, okay? Are you at this point right now with destiny being here? You have to make the choice to go within and heal, all right? We have 33 here. Some of you, you are master teachers. You could have connections to the ascended masters. I'm hearing witness, witness. Somebody could be in witness protection or somebody may bear witness to something that they see. All right. I'm also hearing spiraling out of control. Y'all talks about being put I'm hearing being put on the pedestal, okay? But yeah, definitely you could be being put on the pedestal here, but it's your calling. It's something that you are destined to do, okay? Some of you feel like you are appointed. You could uh, anoint it, but you could also be appointed to something because we have 17 here. If I add those together, it is eight. We also have fine balance. This is some more Wheel of Fortune energy. For me in this particular deck, this is talking about the cherubim, okay? So this is connected connections with the higher ups the seraphims the archangels the ascended masters most definitely some of you people may feel like you have your head in the clouds okay some of you you could be actively searching for a new opportunity a new job okay 
I'm hearing cross country and I'm also hearing something about bear witness. Somebody could be 33. Somebody could have been in a, a toxic cycle for 33 years, four years. Uh, somebody could be 48. Okay, you could have a 12 year old, you can been in something for 12 years, okay? That's something like that. 13, 13 is also significant of Scorpio, so there's definitely an ending here. I'm hearing keep the faith. Some of you, you're connecting with divine beings. You could also have connections uh, with spirits, okay, with that Ouija board being here. Some of you, your connection, you, you're connecting with spirits most definitely okay so some of you again people may feel like you have your head in the clouds okay i'm also hearing where there's fire there's smoke okay somebody could be in a fire somebody could be smoking some fire i don't know take it how it resonates we have aries leo sagittarius so some of you are getting some some questions answered in the dream state why is dreams here some of you, you're healing, you're healing trauma. You could also be doing subconscious work like meditations or something uh, while you sleep. If you don't do that, you could benefit from that. Okay, we have reclaim your peace, enjoy your life. All right. So in the past, you may have felt at odds is what I'm getting. Some of you didn't feel worthy of a position or somebody may not have felt worthy of you. This person treated you like an option. Now, keep in mind, this could be you, somebody that you're thinking of, um, someone you know, someone that you may not know, a crossover loved one, a relative, a cousin, a mother, a child. Take it how it resonates. Neptune is here. Okay, I do feel like there was some self-sabotage in the past. You had to end something, possibly an addiction. Okay. What is this? First, first, yeah. Some of you may have had an eating disorder or you were connecting with somebody that had an eating disorder. That's not for everybody, but that's what I I feel. Somebody was really self-conscious about how they look or how they appear to other people. You could also be dealing with the Aries, but you could have Pisces in the first house. We got grand trying, blessing. Somebody could be 46. A uh, 10-year cycle could be significant, okay? Uh, yeah, somebody did some sort of soul retrieval, or you could benefit from that, okay? Somebody was trying to place some sort of illusion over you or over a situation. With Leo being here, you could be a Leo. They could be a Leo. But this could also be significant to somebody's family, okay? This is also talking about courage and strength and willpower, most definitely. Okay, fortune cookies. This is will of fortune energy. Some more Sagittarius energy. You may have to travel. Somebody may have been... Um, wanting to travel towards you or they were traveling back and forth between you and someone else and that was the illusion we have you are a professional idiot so somebody wanted to uh take your peace you know wreak havoc in your wreak havoc in your life this person may also be trying to send you telepathic messages will wake up and fight for some of you you are in a situation or you were in the past where you were dealing with somebody that has some sort of addiction it could be alcohol sex drugs I don't know why I heard prostitutes, okay? Some of you, you may have had to wake up and fight this person. If this was like a narcissistic person, they possibly didn't want you to sleep or they didn't want you to think clearly, okay? With the ninth house being here, you're gaining some sort of knowledge, okay? Why is 33 here? Love me. So somebody's definitely sending some sort of telepathic messages this person could be a studying the occult or you could be studying the occult um that just simply means things that are hidden from the naked eye here all right so some of you this person didn't want to fight for a relationship with you they possibly needed to do some soul retrieval this is somebody that has fragmented energy some of you could have got a reading in the past or you may have done a reading you may have found out that you were not the only one for some of you 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 this is a karmic father it could be a child's father it could be your brother your son or just a male in your life okay somebody was caught off guard here possibly by uh, oh somebody could have got a reading they may have found out that someone was sleeping around with the opposite sex here they may have also found that somebody did some sort of incantation a love spell or something to draw someone in this person may have withdrew from you okay they may have withdrew from you. Let's see why. 
They may have had them. Yeah, I was going to say they, they were married. Okay. Yeah, so for some of you, this is surrounding the marriage, whether if you know this person or not. This may be somebody that travels a lot, so they may not appear like they are married. You could have met this person while you were traveling, okay? What do we need to know about this marriage? Somebody is in love with someone that they're not married to. We have lack of love for self and others. This is lack stars this is poverty consciousness so somebody is in a partnership solely because they don't feel like they could get better some of you you're dealing with a non-believer this person may have not believed you if you said that someone was throwing axe at you uh like throwing spell work or something like that somebody doesn't feel protected in a marriage also okay non-believer why is this here i know the truth about you so someone to take want someone wants to take action. Anything else? So you may knew that you may have known that this person did some sort of spell work to gain some to gain a marriage. All right. Somebody may also somebody's friend may also know that somebody sleeps around. I feel like this person may have presented some sort of illusion to their group or this group friend circle that they're in they may have said that you didn't believe in a higher power okay so somebody wants to yeah so somebody knows that somebody was dealing with an energy vampire or, or somebody's just just cold-blooded here okay what is this yeah, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. So somebody didn't know that they were connected to or married to an energetic vampire. This is somebody that was very cold hearted. If this is an actual marriage, this person, their counterpart allows this person to sleep around. Somebody may let their partner sleep around for personal gain. We got the protagonist, a lead care, a lead character of a, um, a lead character, excuse me, or main player in the plot. OK, so there was a storyline. Yeah. So somebody may have knew again that somebody was sleeping around with you or you may have known that somebody was trying to trap someone in the marriage. Why is clouds here? For some of you, this person smokes a lot or you smoke a lot. Okay, we got a childhood friend, associate, colleague knows the truth. And so the uh, adventure began. So somebody was trying to create smoke and mirrors around a partnership. And so the adventures began. For some of you, you didn't know that this person was married. Okay, you may have felt like this person needed healing. You may have also felt like this was your divine counterpart. So in the past, somebody could have been shot at. In the past, somebody may know that somebody tried to set them up as well. I'm hearing a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why is this past energy? We got somebody that's into white collar crime, mortgage fraud, embezzlement, healthcare fraud. This could have something to do with PPP loans or something like that. Somebody's using um, a dummy company or something like that. They made up some sort of fictitious company. I'm hearing something about a stipend. Is that a, a, a stipend? A stipend. <laughs> we got hesitation. So yeah, we got he it is. So somebody's trying to figure out if somebody knows that they were a part of some sort of illusion. This person hesitated. Somebody may have actually been confronted by somebody that set them up. You got to let it go so your manifestation can flow. So yeah, we have a partnership here. Somebody was set up by their own their own their their own marriage partner or somebody to have children with or somebody that was pretending like they were for them but they actually weren't. So this could something could have happened during a third quarter moon. Somebody needs to let go of a toxic situation. A divine masculine needs to let go of a toxic situation. They need to to let this go so their manifestation can can flow somebody is possibly out for some sort of revenge because they tried to set them up or set you up or something like that somebody younger i feel like this is a couple that this divine masculine may know why what do we need to know about divine masculine 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is definitely involved in this situation. Somebody tried to create a storyline surrounding a partnership here. Yeah, somebody could have met somebody while they were traveling here. This person was acting like they didn't know whoever this was, but they actually did know. Because this person was trying to create a storyline. Why is Divine Masculine here? So this Divine Masculine knows some sort of truth. They were watching this person's movement. They seen that this person was hesitant. Okay, this Divine Masculine may have also been hesitant to smoke something or to drink something behind somebody because they knew that they, they tried to set them up or put something in their drink or smoke. We got thunder of God, earth, wisdom, knowledge, find your way, Raphael, healing, Aries and Scorpio is involved. We're talking about a fallen angel. So somebody could be a healer or somebody could be in health care. Somebody may also be worried about somebody's mental health. Yeah, so we got, yeah, this is an empath. So this divine masculine is an empath. We have, you are a feeling person in a messy world. You are not a mess here. Okay, so somebody knows exactly that somebody that they were married to or someone that they have children with, possibly even a friend, a colleague, somebody that they work with, I'm hearing went to high school or college with as well, was involved in some sort of illusion involved in some sort of plot to set them up why is oracle here somebody didn't pay attention to a dream in the past it was like their ancestors were sending them some i'm hearing divine messages we got life is too short to wait so somebody got a reading they may have said that this person is not waiting for you or you you may be watching this reading and feeling like i'm not waiting for this person this person treated me like an option yeah, you showed this person love. For some of you, you feel this person trying to connect with you telepathically. Some some of you, this person may try to call you in the morning. Or you may be really connected to this person. Like some of you, when you're first coming out of the dream state, you can feel this person's energy. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to call. OK, some of you, you could have changed your, your number. So something that was an illusion in the past got resolved because somebody ended something. We have some more Scorpio energy. Leo, for some of you, this could be a passed over loved one. Again, that was sending you some sort of messages. Yeah, we got asking you shall receive dreams and purpose begin to unfold. So somebody was thinking small. I'm hearing there's no such thing as coincidence are accidental so somebody may have tried to say something was an accident or it was a coincidence to make it seem like something was an accident but are coincidental but it was really somebody's ancestor somebody could have a past over leo you could be a leo or scorpios involved in this situation we have archangel germel god lifts me up visions and dreams we have dreams and purpose so somebody was ignoring a message that they received in the in the dream state because they felt like it was a coincidence for some of you you they could have seen a burning bush or something like that they could have also seen a fire somebody could have prophesied a fire you may have heard me talk about a fire and then a fire happened and somebody was thinking oh it was coincidental it was accidental but no it's not. We got to wake up and fight. So somebody was sleeping. Somebody could have been sleeping and something caught a fire too. We got this is so. We got the perfect match. Okay, so this person possibly didn't believe in telepathic messages or something like that. Something happened in the morning. We have an eavesdropper. This is somebody that was aggressively trying to affect somebody's destiny or somebody's healing. We got distracted driving, observing the scenery of an accident and our crime. So some of you could have drove past a fire. I'm hearing drove into the fire. I don't know what that somebody could have been driving and their engine caught a fire with heel. Somebody could have been trying to tap somebody's phone, a healer's phone. Why is heal here? So 
Somebody has been doing something for seven years or eight years. Somebody has a past over loved one, an earth angel, a star seed, a guide. Somebody has a guide with them. Somebody could have been eaves eavesdropping and heard a conversation. I'm also hearing something about wiretapping. Why is heel here? Somebody could have been talking and heard static on their phone. We got text now app. Someone gets blocked. Energy don't lie. We have subliminal messages. Someone's trying to control your perception and you may not be aware. Yeah, look at this. This person has got, I'd be, you know, it's all kind of signs coming to this person, but they're paying no attention. Why is this person not paying attention? It's like somebody is always there. Like somebody is trying to create an illusion that they're always there when they need them. But this is somebody that's creating a storyline. If somebody's car caught on fire, somebody they know did that. We got the smoke, smoke again. Somebody could be into vamping, vaping. Somebody could smoke. There was some sort of illusion here. Somebody could have hallucinated when they smoke something. Someone that thinks they know you. So what, what I'm getting is this person may have thought that they knew something about you, about your destiny, about your path, or whoever this is. Someone's child's mother could be a child's father, too. For some of you, they're working with a third party. Somebody's father, brother, son, or male is involved. That is a karmic. Yeah, this is somebody's child as well. So somebody got finessed out of some money. And they're trying to cover it up. Somebody is tracking somebody. They could have, they could have, for some of you, you may have stopped smoking here. What is this? Oh, shit. <laughs> so somebody overheard someone talking about a D appointment or some sort of strap play or something like that. This person may have felt like they accomplished something because somebody stepped back. I feel like this person stepped back to like regain their footing. This person felt like the finger of Yahweh was pointed at them. This is something that's destined here. Why is this? Oh, snap here. Oh, snap. That's too many cars. He or she has so hard like me. Okay, so someone thought that they knew you. They may have thought that you were a gold digger or you wanted somebody for their money. I'm hearing... That's they, they baby mama is saying this or ex-wife or something. We got law of contingent, hair, nails, clippings, homeopathy, medical practice that treats a disease or remedy. So somebody's a herbalist. Okay, shadow work. Somebody could have, somebody may have, this could be a masculine that is uh, celibate. Also, this could be somebody that's in the public eye. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so somebody may be celibate and they may have felt like if they got someone like a prostitute. Somebody. What in the hell? Why is the pimp pimping and hoeing here, please? Somebody needs to or somebody was doing something in the shadows. Possibly getting somebody's hair and nails or something like that. Someone may have tried to set someone up with a prostitute. That keeps coming out. So some of you, this person is, is getting karma. Oh, my goodness. For some of you. All right. This is going, this is going to relate to those of you that... Your twin 
and your false flame are the same sign. So this is someone's child's mother that may have felt like you may have felt that way too. That your false flame was your twin. So this person was trying to create a storyline here. This person, yeah, they think they know you or something like that. Why is this here? This person could be married to somebody that they have children with or somebody that they thought they knew. This person is having problems sleeping, intense emotions, satanic rituals, sex, magic, and vampires. This person is going insane because they're dealing with somebody that's very karmic in nature. This is somebody that's trying to control, control somebody's perception here, possibly by doing some jar work or crown chakra manipulation. Somebody, they're trying to throw somebody off focus. This was a, a soul tie, a soul contract here, a karmic. Okay, we got an Aries Leo Sagittarius that's into white collar crime. You could also be a victim of uh, white collar crime, identity theft. Embezzlement or mortgage fraud. Somebody could also be doing some health care fraud as well with somebody's identity. Some of you, this person may be burning some evidence that links them to that. Today is a good day. So somebody, somebody is worried about surface. I'm hearing surface dwellers. They're worried about people pleasing uh, devil demonic worshiping type of people people that value money over love and things of that sort so this person they need to transmute that energy but i do feel like somebody's trying to burn some evidence that links them to identity theft or fraud today is a good day for a good day why is this here mourning and grief we got the funeral home, church, supreme victory over masculine. So somebody definitely feels like they won something here. Somebody could be bearing their son. My condolences to you or to a younger adult here. This is my celibacy card. Somebody could have been grieving and they may have uh, slept with a prostitute or something like that. Why is the funeral here? They shall be evil spirits on earth and evil spirits shall they be called. We have accept what is, let go of what was and have faith in what will be. So there needs to be an ending or somebody's coming out of a grieving process. Uh, I feel like this person was dealing with somebody that was very karmic in nature. It took a long time for this person to heal from this. They could possibly be still healing. They may find out that a friend or a family member was involved in some sort of setup. Okay, having to do with somebody's son. A spell was casted. A tarot reading. Candle magic. Roots get grounded. So this person is getting grounded. They're also realizing that somebody was doing a lot of moon work. This could have happened in August. I'm here in the 21st, 22nd for some of you. We have somebody that made a bad choice. They, they feel unstable. Somebody is purposely trying to hold someone back from some sort of change by using root, roots. This person needs to get grounded. They need to move away. Somebody's too busy worried about if their shoes look good. Oh, yeah. Somebody could have passed from somebody was suicidal in a situation here. This may be triggering to somebody. We got it only takes one generation to tear down a legacy you spent a lifetime trying to build. And that's a quote by me. So either this is an actual ending uh, and my condolences if that is the case. But this could be. Um, like somebody needs to let go of toxic belief system here. Um, if you if you if you trying to go with a, a prostitute, you could do what, do what you feel. But somebody's being set up here. Somebody's pretending like they don't know who somebody is, but they definitely do. For some of you, this prostitute could carry a gun, okay? And they are, and are they do magic here? 
But y'all never forget how they shown you no love, how somebody was greedy. They sat back and watched you struggle. Somebody needs to have willpower, strong willpower to get over the situation. I don't know why I'm getting this, but somebody could be shooting up a funeral or something like that. Or somebody could have passed from a gunshot wound. Anything else? Let's dance the night away. This could also happen at a club or somebody could have got shot up at a club. We got to never forget again how they shown you no love and they sat back and watched you in willpower. OK, so somebody needs to cut off somebody here. For some of you, you may be finding out that your husband has something to do with some sort of white collar crime. We got America, you, uh, America, your great unfinished symphony. This could be something that goes viral. I'm hearing patriot, patriot, patriots. Okay, learning truth and honesty makes you to somebody could be in the military okay we got learning truth and honesty makes you deprived lack of responsibility not able to accept yourself thinks they know it all and inconsiderate somebody could be a republican i don't know why i got that but or they have uh traditional beliefs or something like that okay so somebody could also spend a lot of time with their friends okay and or somebody is actually involved with the same sex here and if this is a divine masculine they may know if this is their son they may know that their son is um interested in the same sex this somebody's suicidal here is what i'm getting to all right let's see Oh, this rain, this 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 raining. This reading is so draining. Um, we have assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think, and we and we don't have to say what we want. We assume they. They are going to do what we meant because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should know. So for some of you, this this is your divine counterpart going through this. They feel like um, you should know possibly because you have a telepathic connection or they are trying to communicate with you telepathically. But some of you, you got your guard up because you feel like this person didn't show you no love. Okay, so um, somebody needs to heal in this situation because this is somebody that is not reaching out, but they just feel like you should know. You know what they're going through, and that's the mistake that they're making here. Okay, so yeah, you got your, your guards up. You're defensive against him, her, or whatever because you feel like this person wasn't there for you. In your time of need, they feel the same way. I hope this gave you some clarity. Deuces.